I'm Robin Higgins and this is our carbonates aqueous. Okay, so let's review what aqueous means. Uh, and answering our carbonates aqueous is kind of hard because of some terminology issues. So I'll just go over what solids and liquids are defined as as well. So if you have a solid, let's just say you're putting it in some kind of beaker or glassware, it pretty much forms ordered uh, atoms. And so you have all of your atoms in a pretty much, uh, sometimes if it's a crystal to be a grid pattern like here, whatever it is, it's ordered and it's stationary, right? It's a solid, it can't move and it won't fit the shape of the container. But let's say we have a liquid. So let's say this was actually an ice cube. Then if you melt down water, you won't have the same grid uh, formation. It won't be ordered anymore, but it will now conform to the shape of the container, which is cool. And so this is just like regular liquid water. And so aqueous is different than both of these. Aqueous is when we have water. So let's fill it about halfway up now this time. So it's still unordered, but it's filling the shape of the container and we add something else. So let's add sodium chloride, which is a solid, but when we add it to the water, it will break apart and it will completely dissolve. And so this is when we can call something aqueous. When you have liquid water and another molecule that's dissolved, you can call something aqueous. So that's the definition. So now we can see that asking are carbonates aqueous really depends on what state you have a carbonate in. So the general form for a carbonate is CO3 2 minus. And so this is an ion, which means it's going to have a counter ion. So let's go ahead and say that this guy is paired with two sodiums because each sodium has a charge of plus one. So if you have sodium carbonate, then if you just have that on your bench top or your table, it's going to be a solid. Um, so it's not aqueous if it's just by itself. However, if you take uh, this solid and you put it in water, it'll split up into ions and it will completely dissolve. And so carbonates are actually very soluble in water. There's a lot of different types and they all pretty much go into water. Uh, so uh, if it's a solid on its own, carbonates are not aqueous, but if you put it into liquid water, it will become aqueous. I'm Robin Higgins and this is Are Carbonates Aqueous?